This is a super heavy duty 6 volt lantern battery. I'm going to take it apart. So now I've got it open. So let's take out this carbon, this, this one. Okay, so now that I've got it open, I'm going to put on my gloves. And we're going to cut the wires because we want these carbon electrodes to be intact. I've already done one because I wanted to make sure that these things would work. Who oh, no. knows? See, that one's just coming off. We're still going to cut it. So, yeah, I think that's all of them. Now what we do is we take our channel locks, pull it right out. See, look at that. This is a zinc casing, manganese dioxide on the inside, carbon electrode right there. Alrighty, there's one, there's four, though. So, I'm gonna get all of them. So, here's a little experiment that I can do with some things that I found, excuse me, around the house. So, this is hydrogen peroxide, um, 3%. You could do it with 35%. Oh my gosh, I'm burping today. 35%, and it'll be a lot more violent. It'll get pretty hot. Anyways, we're just gonna pour some of this. And fill a plastic bag, not too much, we only need about that much. And uh, I'm getting a little low on this. I'm going to take this. This is magnesium dioxide. Oh, some paper in there because I got it out of the battery. And um, we can, and it's dried, which I think makes the reaction a little bit more violent. Anyway, so we're going to do it sort of like we did with the thing in sixth grade, where we're just going to sort of like place it in the bag like while holding on to it. And then close the bag. Maybe I'm just a little bit lower. So, right now it's got it in there, and then you put it in. And then, so let me just explain what, what's happening right now. Um, so as you can see, the bag is filling up with air. That's oxygen. And I'm going to open it real quick so it doesn't burst. So anyway, this is just oxygen being created because this hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, and so it wants to become water, H2O. Here, I'll close back up so you can see it fill up again. It wants to become H2O, but there's an extra oxygen atom. So what it does is it fills up, so it separates it, basically, but it's really slow. And so when you add the manganese dioxide to it, this is being a catalyst, MnO2, and it's separating the, uh, the last oxygen atom much quicker. And then it's combining with another oxygen atom to create an oxygen molecule, which is the gas. And that is what is being let off. So this is now water, very black water, but it's water. And, um... Alrighty, so we got more hydrogen peroxide, manganese dioxide. And this time I tried to fill up a balloon with it. And... It sort of worked. I mean, this balloon is very tight. I just think it's not strong enough. So see, here we have. This is thanks to Cameron for supplying me with this bottle. Anyway, it, it's pretty cool. I just wish it could go a little bit more. This is, as I've explained, oxygen balloon, um, because the reaction that takes place with the MnO2 and the H2O2.